What is up you guys? It's Katia Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another taste test of the Lion's Choice. Or the Lion's Pack. Um, that was their original name. I realize I still call my videos that because when the company first came out they were called the Lion's Pack but then changed it to the Lion's Choice. So either or but yeah this is number 16 I realized. Um, yeah I've tried like almost all of their products by now, but of course they came out with some new cookie, do cookie doughs, which of course I had to buy and try it with you guys. So super stoked that they came out with like three new ones most recently, um, because then it just gives more for me to try with you guys. Cause I think those are my favorite out of all their things to try their cookie doughs. Cause that's what I always buy and I always have stocked up in my fridge. So if you haven't tried them, oh my gosh, give them a try. I have a 15% off coupon code for you guys to use if you would like to save 15% off on the lens choice on their amazing vegan cookie doughs. They do have gluten-free options and all that kind of so fun stuff. But anyways, three new flavors today. So yes, today we've got moon pie, which I know this may be like a childhood like favorite for some people, but like I've actually never had a moon pie like when I was a kid, we didn't buy those kind of things, like those little Debbies. We never had those in the house. So I don't know what to anticipate for that flavor, but I'm excited to try it anyways. But then the next one, we've got key lime pie, which, oh my gosh, I used to love key lime pie. I mean, all my family lives in Florida, so you always get, you know, the best key lime pie when you're there because they all live in Miami. We Cubans. So I've got high expectations for this one. I better get that, like, limey sweetness tartness to it you know what i'm talking about so well, if you've had key lime pie just saying but then oh boy i don't know if i'm more excited for the key lime pie or this one this one is almond joy candy bar like ugh. i don't think anything goes better together than like chocolate and coconut but then with the addition of almond i wonder if the almond's gonna come through in the flavor so i'm excited to try that as well but anyways we're gonna we're going to dive into the taste test. I'm going to serve a little bit on the caps of each of them and then we'll talk about the macros and all that. All right, so I got them here all prepared, ready to try. And let me tell you, it smells so good right over here. These two, I'm like, oh man, I don't know. I feel like one of these two are going to be my favorite just because I know how the flavor should taste kind of, you know what I mean? And it smells like it as well. Whereas Moon Pie, I don't know what to expect, but man, the chunks Oh man, and this one's got like the shreds from the coconut and everything. Let's just dive into this. So starting with Mood Pie, this has 100 calories, 4 fat, 13 carb, and 4 protein. So that's got like some chunks in there as well. I don't know if it's a nut or like a cookie. Looks like, mmm, like cookie bits. Mmm. I don't know if it's supposed to be like lemon. I mean, can someone tell me what Mood Pie is? Like maybe I'll look it up, but like... Whatever it is, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The best way to describe it, it's like a marshmallow lemony kind of flavor. Super light, fluffy. I'll have to look up moon pie because whatever a moon pie is, that is delicious. Maybe I'll have to like make a vegan version of moon pies. Mmm. Would you guys want me to do that recipe? Let me know, because if you haven't already, go check out my last video where I made vegan chocolate chip red velvet cookies. Those were amazing. And my parents still ask me to make more of them. So, wow. That's amazing. I like that, whatever moon pie is. But no, the key lime pie. So this one's also 100 calories, 4 fat, 13 carb, and 4 protein. And boy, does this have the chunk. So... I guess that's supposed to imitate like the crust of the pie. So pretty stoked in a nice green color, which I love. Oh, and it's, you can smell the lime. It smells so good. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Oh, I really like that, you guys. Oh, man. There's something about like adding sweetness to sour things like lemonade and stuff. That just tastes so good. I don't know what it is, but it's just, wow, phenomenal. Let me put the caps on these as well. I can't remember if I've mentioned, but these are also bakeable, but 
I never eat them bakeable. I just eat them raw because they're so good and they're all vegan and everything. But it just says you preheat the oven to about like 285. Roll desired amount of dough into a ball, then flatten it on, on a cookie sheet and bake for eight to 10 minutes. I'll have to try it sometime if I ever have the patience to wait to not eat it raw. But <laughs> anyways, moving on to this guy. It's dense, this stuff, but it's got for the two tablespoons, 110 calories, five fat, 14 carb and four protein. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm like going crazy. But you can see like the coconut pieces in it. I don't know if you can see this close up. I need to get a better camera, but there's pieces of coconut in it. And so I'm just anticipating, oh, and there are pieces of almond in it as well. So oh my God. it's really crumbly, this one. That's the only difference between the other two and all of their other doughs. It just feels like it's falling apart. And I think that has to do with the fact that there's coconut pieces. Mm. But who cares if it crumbles apart because it tastes so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. They went above and beyond with this flavor by adding the real coconut shreds in there. That is holy cannoli. Mm. Oh man, you guys, you don't even know. Oh, you don't even know. Oh, that's better than an almond joy. And it's vegan, so it's like, Perfect. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it as, oh man. You guys, this is a tough pick. Because as you can maybe tell, these two are my top two favorites. I love the moon pie. Love it, love it, love it. But it's kind of hard to like tell what the flavor is. I mean, oh, interesting. It says it has banana powder in it. So maybe it's supposed to be like a banana flavor? I guess I tasted lemon, I don't know. Like, I guess now that I say banana, I can smell the banana. Maybe I'm just a dingus. And instead of like lemon marshmallow, it's just banana. Like. Okay. But I mean, hey, that's nice that they put banana powder and they don't put like some weird extract to make it taste fakey. But I love it. I mean, I'm obviously gonna eat it. And it's a flavor I definitely would buy again. Because whenever I get these, I, typ I typically get the four pack because you save a little money when you do that. Or you can do the 10 pack. So I got a fourth one, but it's one that we've tried already. I think I got the oatmeal cookie, whoops. <laughs> but I think I got the oatmeal cookie because that's one I hadn't had in a while. So I ordered that baby and so that one's in my fridge right now. So yeah, you wanna keep these refrigerated um, if you don't know that already, but they're just so macro friendly, tasty as hell. Like I, I wouldn't even know how to recreate these, you guys. Like, I don't know and I love baking. And I mean, I'm gonna make it a like a goal of mine to be able to make awesome, cool protein recipes and stuff. But when it comes to cookie dough, leave it to the lion's choice. So I will have to say, oh man. I mean, the thing about this, it's this is a lot richer in flavor where this is, is like, for summertime, refreshing. So for summertime, this gets a first place, but otherwise, like, I'm loving this. I don't know, they're almost tied for first. But I love the moon pie as, moon pie as well, where I guess we just learned together that it's supposed to be banana, not like lemon marshmallow, like the dingus I am. But I love them. I recommend these flavors, like, holy cannoli. So if you want to give them a try, feel free to use my coupon code. Doesn't hurt to use a coupon code saves you money as well but anyways if you did enjoy this video this taste test please do give this video a nice big thumbs up if you haven't already feel free to describe while you go down below and comment hello how you doing just to say hi hope you guys are doing well during this quarantine get yourself some cookie dough because that makes quarantine just go a little bit better you know what I mean who doesn't like a little macro friendly cookie dough so don't binge like crazy on real cookies when you can get this stuff right here. So yes, I love you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which we've got another protein powder review. So stay tuned for that. Boop, boop, boop. Finger guns. Wow. All right, bye guys.